Hi, today I'm going to make baked tofu. So first I'm going to get a block of tofu and that's about six ounces. And then I'm going to cut that up into little pieces. Okay, then I'm going to add the tofu to a bowl. Then I'm going to add two teaspoons of low sodium soy sauce. And then I'm going to add in about a half a teaspoon of ground turmeric spice. And about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Gently mix that together. And you want to use black pepper with turmeric because it helps your body absorb the nutrients that are in the turmeric when you use it with the, back, the black pepper. And then after you've done that, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let it sit for about a half an hour and absorb all that flavor. Be right back. Okay, well the tofu has been marinating in the refrigerator for about a half an hour and so now it's time to put it on your baking sheet. Um, I have parchment paper on mine and I'm going to put it on And you want to separate them as best you can so they're not touching. I've preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to put those in in just a minute. I usually bake these between 30 and 40 minutes. About halfway through, you can take them out of the oven and you can turn them over um, and check on them and see how they're doing. Or you can leave them in without turning them. I've done that before and they seem to come out fine, but I would definitely at least check them about halfway through. Okay, the tofu has been in the oven for about 20 minutes, and I'm going to start turning some of these over. And put them back in after I'm done doing this. Okay, the tofu is done now. I wound up baking in about 30 minutes, and now I'm going to add it to my lunch, which is a cup of cooked quinoa, some sautéed vegetables, and then on the top, the tofu. So I'll try it. Tofu has a mild, spicy taste, and that it's really cool how it absorbs the flavors of whatever it's with. Um, this is a really, really tasty, yummy way to make it, I think. See you next time. Thanks for watching.